Uh, hello, so today I'm going to be showing you a uh, unique, cool, easy, edited by, and all you're going to need is uh, two fonts, Retroika and Arika Expanded, and I'll have the links for those in the description. They're free downloads. But uh, to get started, you're just going to want to drag um, two text boxes in, and on the first one, make sure you're selecting the first here. You're going to put your name in. And you want to change the font family to, uh, I've got to find it, Retroika. And so, it's, it's, it's a nice looking font in my opinion. But, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the video section. And on the first frame, so right here, you're going to want to keyframe zoom at 1000. Then you're going to want to go 10 frames to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right here, keyframe again, then go 5 frames to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Keyframe again. On the middle keyframe, you're going to want to make the size up to 1.3. And on the first keyframe here, you want to put the size all the way down. So now we have like a little bounce in effect, kind of. Like that. And we want to have it a layered look. So on our second text box, make sure we're selecting our second one. We're going to drag it on uh, video two, right over the first text box. And uh, in this text box, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go our name. Then you're going to want to go and change the font family over to Retroika. And then you want to have it like a delayed effect on the second one. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go, instead of doing the exact same thing with the keyframes, we're going to go into the video tab, and we're going to go two frames from the beginning. So you can use your arrow keys. It's up to you. You go one, two. So I'm going to start it right here. Right here, I want to keyframe my zoom. Then I'm going to want to go ten frames to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keyframe again. Then five frames to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Keyframe again. So on this middle keyframe, we're going to want to make it at uh, 1.3 exactly. And then on this first keyframe for the second text box, you're going to want to make it zero. So save your work, and now you have this little bounce in effect. And it looks cool because you have two layers going in. And so now what you're going to want is you're going to drag your third text box in. Drag it above. And this is the part that is different for everyone's name. So here, this is the second font you have to install, Arika Expanded. Right up here. Looks pretty nice. A lot of people use it. Um... You're going to want to change this to edited by. And so my name, the way I do it, I put a lot of spaces right here and I put by at the end. And so you can tweak it so it looks like that kind of. And uh, the size I suggest is 32. And so you want your animation on your two name text boxes right here. That's where they end. So you want this text box to start here. And so obviously we're going to have to move the position. You want to go into your video. You want to change the X and Y values under position. So right here. And you can mess around with this however you want. I like to try to put the by in between the V and the I and above the O. I think that looks pretty nice. Um, it fits pretty well. And so what I want is I want a little animation for this coming in too. So I'm going to start this animation when both of my name text boxes have peaked at the biggest size. So right here. I want to start it. And here we're going to go into the video again. Keyframe your zoom on the first frame of your edited by text box. You're going to want to go 8 frames to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
you're gonna want to keyframe your zoom again. You're gonna want to go four frames to the right. One, two, three, four. Keyframe again. Go to the left. And on your middle keyframe, the eight frames to the right, you again want to make this one point three. If I can get it, there, we go. And then on the first frame, you want to make it a two. So now, if I save my work, I should have this. So it's a nice animated looking little edited by it all pops into place. And then what I want to do is I want to highlight all of them. Actually first cut off the end of your edited by text. Make sure you do that. Because what we're going to do is we're going to highlight them all. With a little uh, left click drag over. Right click it then. And you want to hit new compound clip. And you don't need to change the title on this. You just hit create. So now it's all one clip. And what we can do is now you want to go over to this little section. Here, you want to make it view video options. Select the slot all the way to the left here. And it'll it'll pop up for you, but you just scroll down. And so now what it allows you to do is there's these little draggers you can drag in. And it's basically like adding a cross dissolve wherever you would like. So I suggest adding it around 20, so like that. And at around the three second mark actually is where I want it to end. So I'm gonna, whoops, right here, I wanna cut, and right here I wanna drag it in. So you don't want your edited by to be too long, but that that's what I like. So hopefully this helped you guys out and uh, let me know what else you guys would like to see next. And uh, like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this. But uh, thanks for watching.